Hey, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man. Tim Zhu calls out uh, Pussycat. <laughs> Jamel Charlo for not fighting. Also, real quick, they have not made a determination if Charlo and Castanos 2, Jamel Charlo and Brian Carlos Castanos 2, will go ahead. I guess uh, Castanos put all of his evidence, um, his medical evidence, to the WBO, and they not they have not made a determination. They have not determined will the fight go forward, or Castanos will have to turn around and fight Tim Zhu. All right, so uh, so yeah, that's that's the issue right now, is that Tim Zhu wants his title shot, and uh, he don't want to wait any longer because uh, Castanos got re, uh, injured for the rematch. Most boxing fans be like, well, you know. Uh, I don't care about no Tim Zoo with the whoop, but Tim Zoo's old his shot. And he wants his shot now. And um and he wants the WBO to enforce to enforce the rule. So since Charlo two, Charles Castano's two, WBO has yet to rule on sanctioning for the rescheduled rematch decision expected in the coming days. So this came out uh, yesterday, I believe it was. Yeah. So he says Jamil Charlo and Brian Castanos continue to wait uh away from a forthcoming decision by WBO to determine the fate of their plan rematch. Boxing.com has learned that the WBO uh, Championship Committee has not yet ruled on whether to allow Charlo Castanos rematch to move to another date or to call Castanos to make a mandatory defense. Final decision is expected by no later than the first week of March with the hope that the fight can move to a new date with all four major titles, WBA, WBC, IBF, and WBO at stake. That's the real WBC. He said the pending bout is a rematch to a very terrific showdown that failed to produce a winner last July 17th at AT&T Center in San Antonio, Texas. We all know all that. So uh, the report in, the reported injury prompted WBO to issue a show cause letter to Castanos, who was given 10 days to state his, call, to state his case with the med medical proof of injury. That's why, that's why the delay shouldn't prompt the sanctioning body to order mandatory title defense, title fight. Boxing.com has learned that Castanos has complied to include his submitting medical verification of a slight bicep tear to force the unbeaten Argentine, Argentine, Argentine out of the plan March 19th fight day with Charlo 34 1 1 18 KOs. The injury suffered earlier this month forced Castanos to officially withdraw from the rematch. As Boxing.com reported on February 16th, development drew a concern from the team surrounding Tim Zhu 20 0 15 KOs. Castano's current mandatory challenger who is eager to receive his due title shot. Tim Zhu was scheduled to face 2012 U.S. Olympian and current junior middleweight gatekeeper Terrell Boucher on the Charles, Charlo Castano's two undercard, which they were reportedly made to understand would take place February 26. And then they pushed it back. The date was never formally announced. The Premier Box Championship instead revealed in a 71-word press release that February 3rd that the show would take place March 19th at the Crypto.com. Arena, formerly known as the Staples Center in Los Angeles, a virtual press conference was to have taken place during the mid-February, though details were never released. Instead, came news of Castano's injury and unwelcome postponement. A, strong, a strongly worded protest was filed by Matt Rose of No Limits Boxing. No Limits Soldier, I thought it was Simpson's promoter, who claimed that they agreed to defend the WBO global title against Terrell Boucher on February 26 in Houston on the provisions that fighting the winner of the unification bout between uh, Brian Castanos and Jamel Charlo. This date, however, changed venues and locations to March 19th in L.A. However, nothing official was announced. We have been waiting the last two weeks for an official announcement of March 19th of March, which finally is going to happen on February 16th. Boxing.com confirmed that the Castanos team has challenged the suggestion of the fight ever uh, being set for February 26th, but, so that, but specifically that they never agreed to a rematch taking place in Charlo's hometown. Their obviously concern was getting a fair shake given the outcome in the first fight. The February 26th was speculated though that the media though uh never formally announced PBC show. Okay, we already know this, right? So it's a whole bunch of whatever, right? So they was given the hoop ride and the fight was never announced and Tim and Tim Zoo got a point. The fight was never formally announced. So it, it seemed like a fishy foul play here. And he said he was promised a winner from what I understand he wasn't getting if Charlo won, he wasn't getting Charlo, bro. I heard Char after after this fight, Charlo was moving up. So that's just what's going on. That could be completely false. That could be just a rumor that could change. But it seemed like they finessing the old boy. Cause I heard that if Charlo won, he moving up, bro. So I mean, 
keep poking a shot at the winner. Because think about it this way, right? I understand if Charlo, you know, I understand if Charlo, you know, take on Tim Zhu right now, and he turn around and try to fight Castanos, that they probably gonna order IBF mandatory, WBA, WBO mandatory, or WBA, WBC man, or WBC ain't got to worry about it. Because I can make that, you know, make that do what it do. But he got to worry probably about the WBA and IBF mandatory too. So, like I said before, but think about it this way: he can easily just fight. He can easily just fight Tim Zhu, right? And get that out the way and come back and fight Castanos. So you know you gotta ask yourself, you know, why ain't he trying to fight? Uh, why ain't he trying to fight Tim Zhu? You gotta ask yourself that. Why ain't he trying to fight Tim Tim Zhu? If he if you gonna fight Tim Zhu anyway, you know, just tell the rest of the sexy boys I'm about to fight. I just you know I'm gonna give him I'm gonna give him his mandatory, you know, whatever, however it go, you know, and you know, then just do it that way. You know, just fight him and then come back and say I will fight Tim Zhu, you know, and that and that'd be what it be. But I'm telling you, the reason why he don't fight Tim Zhu, because they have no plans to him fight Tim Zhu. Now, if Castano's win, he probably he probably fight Tim Zhu. All right. If Castano's win, he'll probably fight Tim Zhu. So, I mean, if not, if not, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So, I mean, that's how, I mean, like I said before, if you're really going to fight Tim Zhu, we'll say the date, fight March 19th, fight Tim Zhu, then come back and just, you know, petition to the other sanction belt bodies that you're going to turn around and fight and come back and fight Castanos for Undisputed, then, you know, you'll handle, you do what you do. But they have no intent on fighting Tim Zhu. They could have been, he was on the same car. He said he stepped up with a month, you know, with a month notice. They don't have no, they don't have no plans on giving Tim Zhu a shot. They're not about to get Tim Zhu all the titles. If anything, do have, if he do fight Tim Zhu, you know, if they do fight Tim Zhu, they're going to drop belts. Tim Zhu not going to get a shot. He's not going to control the whole division. They want Spence to go up there and control that division. You know what I'm saying? Then they, you know, that's what they want. They want to keep all the belts. They want to keep controlling the divisions they got control of. That's what they That's what they want. He said, Tim Zhu, Jamil Charlo, a lion, he's a pussycat. So he said, according to Tim Zhu, he will still return the month of March against Gouche, but the fight is going to take place in Australia. So Gouche going to Australia. He said, March 19th is, is, is not happening. Best case scenario, I will fight the same opponent following weekend on a different show, Tim Zhu said. I told the boys to make it happen. I'm just waiting on the, for a date, Tim Zhu told Fox Sports. I'm just ready to go to America. That's where I've always been dreaming about. So I want to have a quality opponent in America. As the WBO's mandatory challenge, Tim Zhu is in line for a winner of the Charlo Castellanos rematch. Charlo hosts all the belts. He said he calls this. He said he calls himself a lion, but he's a pussy cat. That's all he is. Tim Zhu said there could be po po uh, political stuff involved with preventing a fight against Charlo, but my main concern is to fight and not to sit around whoever, whoever, whenever, uh, but not wherever in America. <laughs> all right, but uh, yeah, he said he wanted to fight in America, so he said he a pussy cat, and they're not about to hand him over them belts if they, you know, this was. They're not sure Jamel can beat him. That's what it is. So if you know he Jamel lose to him, then he 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 controls like 75% of the division. That's how Al Hammond played. He controls like 75 uh 75% of the division. So they not about to let him uh they're not about to let him control the whole division. It's as simple as that. He's not about to control the whole division. So he somehow beat Charlo and they give all the bills. They won't they give all the bills back to Tim Zoo and everybody gotta go to Australia to beat Tim Zoo. That's what it is. They, you know, they're not sure that he can uh he can beat him. So like I said, it ain't really hard to tell. You know, so he right. So Charlo, they're not about to hand Tim Zoo all them belts. He, he ran over to Australia like George Camboso did. That's exact. That's exactly what they think he' about to do. That's exactly what he think he' about to do. So no, they're not about to handle them belts, and they don't, and they don't have no intentions on fighting him. If anything, Castanos might get the belts and drop the WBO. Real talk. If anything, that might happen. 
So yeah, this, don't don't none of this uh don't none of this surprise me. None of it. You know, he said I I fight them. They don't have they didn't have this this same like he got a point here. They might strip the WBO. Castanos might have to fight him, where they might strip Castanos. Because they never came up with a fight day, bro. And the reason they didn't fight February 26th because Triller took this took the fight day. Chad Dawson fighting on Triller or something like that. So yeah, he he do got a point. He definitely has a point. You see, like just, just black mom and pop business. Just, you know, stereotypical Negro business, bro. Mom and pop business, you know. So at the end of the day, I believe, you know, if had they had to fight February 26th, you know, because Thanos probably would have got injured still because that would have been tomorrow. So, and then, you know, that is what it is, man. They, they don't want to fight Tim Zoo and hand him all the belts. You know, given, you know, given the, you know, you know, given the issue that he, if he wins, he controls the division and they don't control him. Like Irv said, well, it showed me a lot of Tim Zoo signing the PBC. Why, why I got to sign the PBC? If I'm on the title shot, bro. And you gave me handshake agreement that I get a I get the shot at the winner at Undisputed. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, if you show if you work with me in good faith, we have a good relationship, then I consider signing with you. Why why I need another hand in my pocket? I'm old to fight. You promised me to fight with Goucher. You promised me the winner. But if you come through with your promises and show hospitality and show that you be you working in good faith, then you know we, we can work together. But why I gotta why everybody gotta sign the PBC to get shots that they owe? You get fights that they owe. Why? Come on, you can't even pay the fighters you got. It ain't that your Charlo don't want to take the fight, bro. Like I said before, Charlo don't have no intentions on fighting you. They said well, he might move up after this. He don't have no intentions on fighting you. So like I said before, you can't believe nothing these, these, these crooks say in boxing. You know what I mean? And Castano's when he probably defend the belt. He might even drop the WBO. They don't have no plans on fighting you, bro. That is what it is. But hey, let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live and drop the video. Uh, uh, check out the box and loose playlist. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You can find me everywhere on social media. Just hit the link tree link in the description. Want to make a financial donation? Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo, CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Uh, other than that, appreciate the love and support. One time for the one time. Peace. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.